All right, uh, at India Mobile Congress 2025, the spotlight is firmly on the future of connectivity. From industry giants to policymakers, all eyes are on satellite communications, the next big leap in bridging India's digital divide. Ashmit Kumar gives us a wrap from the India Mobile Congress. Take a look. India Mobile Congress 2025 has seen the who's who of telecom and electronics industry descend to the nation's capital. And one of the biggest talking points has been satellite communications. So as large players, the likes of Starlink, OneWeb, uh, Amazon Skipper and Geo roll up their sleeves, the telecom minister Jyotiraditya Sindhya is of the view that India will see the fastest satcom rollout in the world. So what does a satcom rollout in India look like? Well, I think we are, we are laying the... Uh the complete uh, substrate for this SATCOM uh, in terms of appropriate rules, uh, the regulatory framework, pricing, which will essentially unleash that sector. So just wait and watch. A uh, lot of it is industry's hands, part of it is in our hands. Both of us are working together. But the house was divided on the impact that the entry of SATCOM players will have on the Indian market. When it comes to dense areas like urban, Today's satellite cannot compete with the quality of terrestrial networks. To reach the right backhaul connectivity, satellite communication is the need of the hour. That makes the job of the government and the TRAI that much more critical as they decide if spectrum is to be allocated or auctioned. The TRAI has asked for allocating spectrum to satellite players, leaving conventional telecom companies worried if satellite-based players will get spectrum at cheaper rates. We are very clear on this. Uh, same service, same rules a level playing field. Why? Because these technologies serve, uh, we, we provide, we use spectrum for the benefit of billions. Another key talking point has been the government's decision to support AGR relief for Vodafone Idea. In fact, many suppliers to the company are counting on it. Yeah, there, there, there were some funding uh, roadblocks uh, with uh, another operator and they have some funds have been released and they, so they are also going to deploy. I mean, they have a backlog to cover. So there will be an increased activity going forward. With 5G well and truly here, the search for use cases continues. Private telecom networks and AI are in high demand. We have been being very authentic about the value proposition uh, out there. So uh, larger players, mid-sized players being authentic and, uh, and saying as it is, is helping us win confidence of the end user and the partner ecosystem. Everybody wants to have a discussion about AI. But you know, AI is not just one use case, right? I uh, I joked with, uh, you know, my wife was asking me, you know, what's AI? And I was telling her, think of AI as a garam masala, right? It goes in every dish, right? So you can think about how we are enhancing the picture you take through AI, right? It's all in the background. It's not just Gen AI where you can ask a question and get a, you know, put a prompt and get a response, right? Well, the conversations on SATCOM, on AGR, on 5G use cases are all indicative of questions that the industry is asking right here at the India Mobile Congress 2025. In New Delhi, Akshmit Kumar.